Welcome back, Devils fans. The news has just been released. New Jersey Devils prospect and now former Michigan Wolverine Seamus Casey has signed his three-year entry-level contract with our new Jersey Devils. And now, while this was most likely the expected outcome, some people thought Seamus might go back to Michigan for one more year, but that is not the case. It is time for Seamus to start his professional career with the New Jersey Devils. And I've been super high on Seamus Casey for quite a while now. I think he's going to be a great player. And, um, you know, the Devils got it done. He's leaving college and he's joining the pro ranks. Here is the statement that came out from the Devils about an hour ago. Here it is. The New Jersey Devils announced today that the team has signed defenseman Seamus Casey to a three-year entry-level contract. The announcement was made by President General Manager Tom Fitzgerald. Casey, 20, completed his second season at the University of Michigan and recorded 45 points, 7 goals, 38 assists in 39 games with the Wolverines. He led all Michigan defensemen in scoring and his 45 points ranked fifth on the team. In 23-24, he earned all Big Ten first-team honors, was a finalist for the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, and named to both the Big Ten All-Tournament and NCAA All-Regional teams. Following the end of the season, Casey was named an American Hockey Coaches Association All-American. His 45 points ranked third for all NCAA Blue Liners. During his freshman year at Michigan in 22-23, the 5'10", 180-pound Blue Liner recorded 29 points, 8 goals, 21 assists in 37 games, which ranked second among Wolverine defensemen behind current Devil Luke Hughes, 48 points, 10 goals, and 38 assists. That same year, he was named to the Big Ten All-Freshman Team and Big Ten All-Tournament Team. Casey also helped Michigan win the 22-23 Big Ten Tournament Championship. Along with Hughes, Casey was also teammates with Devils defensive prospect Ethan Edwards. Born on January 8, 2004, Casey was New Jersey's second-round selection, 46th overall in the 2022 NHL Draft. He played for the United States National Team Development Program from 2020-21 to 21-22, where he was also teammates with Hughes as well as New Jersey prospect Nick Letty. Casey represented the United States at the International Ice Hockey Federation's 21-22 U18 World Junior Championship and the 23-24 World Junior Championship. He earned a silver medal at the 2022 tournament and gold in 2024. And there it is. There are the details. He's been excelling in college, looking to make the jump to the pros. My only concern with this whole thing, my only concern, is that obviously we are extremely young as a team overall. We are extremely young on the blue line right now. And a lot of these guys are undersized. He is another one of them. You know, not to knock you know, smaller guys and, and say that it's everything. But I think we've seen now in the playoffs for sure, as I've been saying all season long, you need size, grit, tenacity, all that stuff to make a playoff run. And he is sort of the same kind of mold as a lot of the players we have now. Again, um, you know, he'll obviously probably grow a little bit and his game will develop. But the thing that concerns me is we already have, you know, Luke Hughes, Nemitz, and Ball's not the most seasoned guy either. He's huge, but he's still kind of green. And so I think a lot of people are expecting to see this kid on the Devils right away. I don't see him being on the Devils this season. I think um, 25, 26 at the earliest, being that he'll play a season in Utica, I'd imagine, this year and kind of get some professional experience. But – I think he's going to be a great player. He's going to be a great player. My only question is whether his trade value now might be a little increased due to the fact that he's now signed to his entry level. You know, I don't think he helps this team this year whatsoever. I think our blue line needs to be overhauled somewhat, and we need some veterans and some big, nasty defensemen. So he's not filling either one of those holes for us. And so I wonder if getting him signed might now make him more valuable in a potential trade. It's possible. And his name has been connected to a lot of trades over the past months. You know, whether that was pure speculation or based in something, he would be a tremendous piece for many teams in the NHL, especially ones that are more of in the rebuilding mode um, than not. You know, so I think that's something to look at now that he is signed. It might make trading him a little easier or make him a little more valuable in said trade. But it'll be interesting to see because I do think a lot of teams would love to have him. And I would like to see him as a devil one day if, you know, something doesn't come along the lines to make it worth parting with him. And one of those things being, as I've talked about time and time again, Brady Kachuk, if the Senators had interest, 
and wanted him as part of the deal. I think that's something you have to do. But he will be a great player in the NHL. I have no doubt about it. I actually watched him in depth at the Devils prospect camp last summer. I did a video during one of the scrimmages where I followed Seamus Casey on every shift. And uh, I'll put that video in the comments so you can check it out. You could see him in a Devils jersey at Prudential Center in an actual scrimmage. Pretty cool stuff. So that link will be in the description to check out that video. But Casey's going to be a good one. He's going to be a good one. My only question now is whether we actually see it all all the way through and he does become a Devil one day or is he traded before then. It's It's definitely something that I think is possible. And I've said time and time again, you guys know where I'm at with the state of the devils right now is that we, we need to start getting win now pieces. The, the rebuild, the perpetual rebuild cannot continue. And so coming off of the 22, 23 season where we set a franchise record with 112 points, beat the Rangers in that beautiful seven game series before Carolina stomped us, you know, that, that to me was signifying hopefully the, the beginning of things to come. We should be a perennial cup contender, not in a perennial rebuild. And infusing more youth and inexperienced guys in the lineup is is what rebuilding teams do. The Devils have the core nucleus pieces. They're in place, guys. They're in place. We all know it. Nico Heischer, Jack Hughes, Timo Meyer, Jesper Bratt. We have the pieces to build around Dougie Hamilton. The core pieces are there. And now it's up to Fitz to tinker with the roster and add little, you know, whether it's bottom six players or a couple defensemen. Obviously, we need to address the looming goaltending situation. But I do believe in my heart that this team is, you know, four or five moves, meaning players, whether it's, you know, uh, obviously a goalie's one. I would love to get two defensemen, but maybe it could live with one. But so you got, a, um, you know, a goalie, two defensemen, and two physical nasty forwards. I mean, that's five pieces that could transform this team and really put us on the right path. And I don't think it's that crazy. We have lots of ammo to work with. We have some roster players that could be expendable if necessary. We have draft picks, including a top 10. Hopefully we don't fall down in this draft lottery, a top 10 draft pick, other prospects. We have tons of pieces to make meaningful moves happen. And so again, I like Seamus Casey. think he's going to be a great player. Whether or not he actually becomes a New Jersey Devil will remain to be seen. But I do like the fact that he is jump taking the leap from college, joining the pros, and now we just have to see how this all plays out. But I hope Fitzgerald really is really has his eye on this whole thing because this summer to me is a massive one, one of the biggest in franchise history. I've said it in other videos that in my opinion this past season or the current season I guess with the playoffs – the 23-24 season was the biggest debacle in Devils franchise history since the 95-96 season when we failed to make the playoffs after winning the Stanley Cup. That just cannot happen, and it, it's just an atrocity. To have the season we had, we it's crazy to even think about that the Devils in 22-23 set the franchise record for points. It's just it's crazy. Like Some of the teams the Devils had over time, I guess part of that is a function of you know, the loser point and, and all that stuff, I suppose. I don't know. It's You could make an argument. But, you know, we've had some some amazing rosters during the dynasty years. And the fact that this the team in 22-23 set the franchise record for points and made the playoffs, clawed back from a 2 nothing hole against the Rangers, and then we kind of just took massive steps backwards and failed to make the playoffs. Obviously, a lot of shit happened that wasn't ideal with all the injuries and McLeod being banished and yada, yada. And it was a tough season. It really was depressing. It sucks that, what is today's day? Yeah, we have basically five more months until we play regular season games, opening up the season against former coach Lindy Ruff and the Buffalo Sabres and Chechia. But it's going to be a long five months. It's going to be a long five months. I'm hopeful that when July 1 rolls around, free agency opens up, Tom Fitzgerald gets active and gets some of these guys because there is a lot of talent available in free agency. I've always been a proponent of signing guys in free agency versus making blockbuster trades just simply for the fact that it costs you no assets other than money. You're getting these guys without giving anyone up. You're just signing them. It's a, it's not rocket science. You know, you could get these guys. It costs you nothing from your roster or your picks or anything else you have in the cupboard. You just straight up offer these guys contracts, get it done. And I think that there's, there's several defensemen. There's a couple goalies and some forwards that, that would fit in beautifully with this team. I was looking at the list recently. I th I'm trying to wait till after the playoffs are done to put out my whole 
my whole vision and plan or in the lists of the guys that I'd be interested in, but there's quite a few of them. And honestly, we could go on quite a shopping spree this summer and fill a lot of holes that this team needs. It's a pretty decent free agent class coming up in July. But where I would make the trade is, again, you all know, Brady Kachuk. There is no Brady Kachuk available in free agency. There's not too many guys in the league like him. And, um, you know, I would be willing to offer quite a bit to land him here. He would really transform this team. But there it is, folks. Let me know what you guys think about Seamus Casey taking the leap and signing his entry-level deal. I expect if he remains in the Devils organization throughout the summer, we will see him in Utica next year for a season of developing and working on his game before jumping up to the to the big club. But it will be interesting to see how he fares in camp. I just can't see. Fitzgerald was very squeamish heading into last season with youth on the blue line. And I'd like to think that he learned his lesson this year and that we saw the growing pains when, you know, Severson, Graves left in free agency, Dougie went down early, and then we had very young kids in – Luke Hughes and Shimo Nemitz logging a lot of minutes. And unfortunately, there are growing pains. They weren't really insulated. They didn't get a lot of help. And so when when you get thrown out in that scenario for the majority of a season, you know, you're, there's going to be there's going to be bumps in the road. And we saw it this year, unfortunately, and that's just part of it. Um, it wasn't ideal to have both of them in the lineup playing those minutes, but the injuries kind of necessitated it. I mean, we could have went out and got another defenseman, but you know, Fitzgerald said, screw it. Let's just get these kids experience. And here we are. And here we are, but another young stud on the blue line in the devil's organization, officially signing his deal. Seamus Casey, very curious to see him, how it all plays out. Check out that video. I mentioned link in the description to see him in the scrimmage during prospect camp last summer. And I think that's all I got for you guys. Throw anything out in the comments. There's a couple other little news tidbits I wanted to talk about, maybe some playoff stuff. So I'll be back. You know you know what it is. I'll, I'll be around. But uh, that's it, guys. Seamus Casey signing his entry level. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils.